Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about... <laughs> People don't like what I think about Hamza Chimaev. At this point, everybody knows that Conor McGregor has pulled out of his fight with Michael Chandler. That fight is being postponed. It will happen, but it's not happening when they set at 303. That's why we have Pereira and uh, Yuri Prohaskets 2. I don't think they said that cor I said that correctly, but Yuri 2. Um, Hamza... He doesn't take care of himself. I understand he's sick and it's not good. He's talking about retirement. But he's been having these conversations for a long time. He's been beating up his body for a long time. This is the same guy who said, I'm not scared of anybody. I'll do anything to anybody. Dude, you're always sick. You're always beaten down. Take care of yourself or stop talking. I mean, come on. It's, it's fucking old at this point. Every time we see the guy, he's like, anytime, anywhere. I'll take on anybody. And clearly you won't. Clearly. The reason you get so sick so much is because you beat your body down. You don't rest. You don't chill out. And then you talk shit to people. Ugh. Robert Whitaker, 25 wins, 7 losses. 3-2 and two in his last 5 fights. 2-1 and one in his last 3. Minus 145 favorite, 33 years old. 6 foot tall with a 73 and a half inch reach. Fetty Ikram Aliskarov. 15 wins, one one loss, plus 120, basically at even odds right there. 31 years old, six foot tall with a 76 inch reach, two and a half inch reach in fan for Eliskarov, same height as well. This is a very dangerous fight for Whitaker because Whitaker has been through the ringer with like opponents, good opponents, uh, Hall of Famers. He's maybe not as durable as he once was. Which I think at one point he was very durable. I mean, look at the Yoel Romero fights. It's reasons reason why he's not anymore, I would say. I don't think if how, you know, the five-rounder is a mistake for Liskarov. Um, but if he can connect on him early, I think he definitely could finish Robert Whitaker. Because he just has, a, he has that power. He's more well-rounded. Not well-rounded. He's more explosive is the word. Robert Whitaker, not necessarily known for his like grappling prowess or you know anything really like that so strikes landed per minute 4.57 to 8.24 now he's only had what two fights in the ufc he had one like on um, the contender series uh, kimura but he fought phil hawes very chinny wore the alves very bad never really that good robert whitaker has fought everybody so 42% accuracy, 65. Strikes absorbed 3.47 to 7.15. I really think that jab and the straight for Whitaker could really do him justice. I really see that a combination that he likes a lot with a head kick can be money for him in this matchup. 59% defense to 36. Here's where it's interesting. Takedowns, not less than one, 2.33. Accuracy is 38 to 33. Defense is 82. 2.3 uh, average submissions for a 15 minute fight. Well, almost two and a half submissions. So, Whitaker's defense has always been pretty damn good. I don't think he's ever been submitted in his career. One submission, but where was it? Triangle choke by Ho Hoon Kim. 8-8 back in 2011. 10-13. and 13. Jesus. Terrible record. But again, long time ago. Hasn't fought since 2019. Very bad. But again, it's been a long time since he's been submitted. I like Whitaker, especially in a five-round fight. Early rounds, first one or two, depending on how much Whitaker can make him work without getting finished. He, Whitaker can start piecing him up later as the fight goes. The biggest thing for me is just make Eliskarov work early, mixing in the takedowns, mixing, mixing in the grappling. Even if you're not necessarily successful with it, just keep mixing it in. Make him work. Make him carry you. I see Whitaker getting the, getting it done, but I can see a f early finish for Ikram. And as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment, and let me know who you're picking. Peace.